Hi everybody, Katerina from Sustainably Rooted and today we're going to plant some peas. So if you remember, we pre-sprouted peas and we're going to be popping those in so they can grow. This is for a fall crop, but you can also do this for the spring as well. So here's what I pre-sprouted and will be um, direct sowing today. Sugar Daddy, Sugar Lace, and Snow Sugar Pod too, but they are a purple variety um, for the most part. And yeah, they all should, will grow into summer. They're all frost tolerant. Um, and so we should be able to get a good yield out of them. So one benefit of pre-sprouting seeds is here is the seed before. It's just this dehydrated seed. And you can direct sow this seed, but um, this is a pre-sprouted seed. And again, you can also direct sow this. This has been set in water. You can see that video of how I did that. And you can kind of see this direct sow water is gonna have to take time to absorb the water first. And then it's gonna have to, then it can go grow. This seed has already absorbed water and it has started its growing process. And when you put it in the ground, it, it's, it, the moisture, the water that you're putting in there is just for the soil that it can continue to glean nutrients from. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of amend the soil just a little bit. Right now I'm gonna use earthward castings. I don't always use them, but I'm going to. So I'm gonna grab just a handful of that and then put it in and just kind of work it into the soil just a little bit, okay? I can do them um, four inches apart here. I think the recommendation is six inches. Um, if you're not putting it on some kind of vertical, even if you are putting on a vertical, I think the recommendation might be six, but I'm doing just about four, maybe three. And there's, they are gonna grow up on the vertical right there. Um, so that's the next thing. So I'm actually going to poke, so I've got these holes here, but I'm going to go kind of like two here and then another here. So there's one, two, three. So between each individual hole, there will be one up top there, just because I have more than I would have expected. When I'm putting them in, I'm not necessarily putting them in a certain direction, although some would say, oh, this is a good example. There is this little top part of it, you can see. And some will say that facing that up will save it some time. But I, ah, I don't know if that's necessarily worth it. So now I'm just gonna go and just kind of brush a little bit of dirt over the top of them. So I've got right here, I've got my purple snow peas. Over here, I've got sugar uh, snap peas, which are called sugar lace. And then across here, I've got the other um, sugar snap peas, which are called snap daddy variety. And these are all the ones that I pre-sprouted in my other video, so feel free to check them out as well. So our final step is just to water. I'm just first gonna water using the water in the jars that we had. And you do want to keep these moist. Yes, I said it, moist, so that they can germinate as well. Thank you for planting some peas with me. 
Um, like and subscribe. Subscribing allows us to reach more. It allows uh, you to um, find the other videos very easily and see when I'm putting out other videos as well. Things on sustainable gardening, um, zero waste home, zero waste kitchen coming soon, zero waste classroom coming soon, and just overall um, how I can pr bring s sustainability to you in a sustainable way. So um, I hope you have a good rest of your day.